Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today I'm heading out to the lake. Got a lunch with me. I just want to scout around. I haven't been there in a couple of weeks. So anyway, uh, come along. The black bears are still out. Can't bypass this. Great stuff. Mmm. Nice and sweet with a slight tart flavor. It's great. Can't bypass the chance for a little foraging once in a while. Especially when it's blackberries. Our growing season here is really quite short. Today is August 30th, 30 days of September, April, June, and November. Today is August 31st, the day before September 1st, and the temperature is in the low teens as far as uh, the Celsius scale goes, so that would be somewhere in the 50s, I guess, on the Fahrenheit scale. So it won't be long now before the leaves start to change. So we have to take summer when we get it. And the odd blueberry is still clinging on the line. Late bloomers. Can't pass those up either. Raspberries. Can't pass these up either. Mm. Nothing like a good raspberry. Well, here we are at the lake, and as you can see, it's a bog lake. There's no real defined shoreline, and there's marsh plants growing throughout the lake. So because it's all marshy, it's a whole lot easier to have lunch out here when it's frozen over in the winter. But anyway, I'm going to try to find a, a spot to lay out a bit of a tarp and I can get my stove going and boil some water for tea. Here's some of those carnivorous plants. They actually digest insects. They form a, a pool of water inside their leaves. You can see right there there's water collected. Anyway, there's a bit of nectar that's in that water, and it attracts insects. The insects then drown, and the plant then digests the insect. Anyway, I can't for the life of me remember what these are called. Well, I'm just past the lake now, and I can see that the woods here have been thinned out quite a bit. A lot of the smaller stuff has been cut out. 
or cut down rather and it's just laying around now I was thinking earlier about using some saplings to make a raised bed for my tarp shelter on the other side of the highway and uh, if I harvest some of these that have already been cut down, I won't have to kill any trees for my raised bed. Sounds like a plan. Well, this is as dry and as flat a place as I'm going to find. Now we'll just wait for that to boil and we'll have a lunch. Brought a sandwich and a granola bar and uh, we'll have a cup of tea with that. Well, the water's boiling, so now I'll have my cup of tea.
a little bit of whitener. A little blast of cold water to just take it off the boil. Well, it had been raining most of the night and most of the day, actually, but now it looks like it's starting to clear up and dry up a little. So, I'm going to um, finish my sandwich and I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I've had my lunch and now it's time to head back. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out.